Two ten pots, looking for mass poly. That. Holy oh, They hit my Blood Reaver, Gul'dan. Today I'm highlighting some gameplay for my Team Hearth Legends Wild Series Week 6 gameplay. This is going to be Arena Lock Mirror that goes to Fatigue. A uh, pretty long, grindy one, but full of interesting plays. And this is definitely a matchup where, you know, even small decisions that you make in the early game can matter. Lists are pretty close, but there's a couple small differences, so we'll see which one comes out on top. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the games. Stare is meh. Bran is meh this early, but it has to be okay. You just jam on three and Duke Zox on four. Look for ten pots. We're kind of looking to debate with Mass Polymorph, I think. Um, with Kazakus. This is really good to get... This is close. I think we have to hold for Nether or, like, Mass Dispel. I don't know that I can Wild Growth with this. I think that's too greedy. This matchup's gonna go pretty long. I don't know that ramping ahead is worth giving up a Zephyrus. So I'm gonna Hero Power. There we go. The Pog goes with this. That likely means that we're just gonna play into Void Collar on 4, which means we're not gonna Brain on 3. They also have Unstable Felbolt. So they're running a little bit more than the average deck. They're not running Plague of Flame, so that's pretty interesting. So it's basically Dark Skies or Felbolt. They have two options to kill this. I think I'd rather guarantee the double 10 pot. Also with this, like we can just do dumb things with like this and this and this and this. Just wait. Share power again. I don't really want Nazoth this early, but it is what it is. Hopefully they don't go into their own brand. Okay, then we go into Mistress of Mixtures, sure. I mean, honestly, at the moment, that's helping me more than them. <laughs> so that's fine. Definitely going to a Void Caller here. Let's see, do they have. Okay, they're going into their Kazakis. Yeah, okay. Our turn 5 is kind of meh, to be quite honest. Doesn't feel very good. I I don't want to give up too much tempo by waiting on this, but I really like to get some value with it, honestly. I have no reason to hysteria, so. I'm just gonna hang out. This could be way too greedy, but I think this game is gonna be one with big haymakers, and we need to try and hold out for all of our biggest haymakers. If that makes sense. Corning out of six. Thorson? That could be rough. We have to kill that on spot. No, they're recording out of Zeph. Think of the Master spell, which could be pretty good. Or just a Shadow Word. Oh, a Hex. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. We might just Hysteria their Zephyrus so they can't bounce it. Yeah, that could be the line. God, that could be that could be greedy, but I I don't think I can let them bounce this this Zephyrus. Um, so I'm gonna go with Hysteria before Kobold Librarian. I could also just jam a Karta Defender, which is pretty good. Goodness, I guess they, they only have uh, Zola the Gorgon to bounce this. It could just be such an Omega blowout if they get extra copies of Zephyrus. It's the best thing to make copies of, I think. Outside of, like, Nazoth. Um... Ah, uh, Hysteria has to have more value. I'm gonna play this. If they if they have the Zola, I feel bad, but that, that happens. I don't, it's not like they're keeping Zola in their opener, you know? So, I think this is okay. What do they have here? Deal 5, summon a 5, 5, sure. I don't know why my deck tracker is not open. Let's try and fix that. I guess, I guess, I guess you guys won't see the deck tracker because of this, but at least I want it open so that I can see it, you know? You can still your hero power. This could be good when when we get to late game, whenever they're, like, pulling the, uh, the sucky boys, the, uh, <laughs> the, the Blood Reaver Gul'dan with the, with the, the Steel 3 game 3, whatever you want to call it. Um, do I want to brand a Kazakus here? No, not really. <laughs> I'd rather go for Zephyrus, Bran. I'd rather wait, 
I'd rather try and Kobold Librarian into a playable card. And again, hold the Hysteria. I think if they had would have bounced, they 100% would have, so I'm just going to hang out. That's kind of clunky. Can I just pass this turn? Well, now I can't really brand Kazakis. I can Zephyrus Lazola it, but again, I don't want to do that. Well... Can I do that? Do I just hysteria? This kind of doesn't. It just gets him in play. Alright, we're gonna be greedy. We're gonna be greedy. We're gonna be greedy. Don't punish me for my greed, Lord. I should, I should sit up. Thorison. Uh, they get a Thorison tick, which kind of sucks, but that's life. Um. We can Dirty Rat to get value from a Zephyrus Shadow Word Ruin. He's at first Shadowward Ruin, that's six, seven, eight, that's not enough. Huh. The problem is if we hysteria, we have a really awkward turn again. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that one bit. I mean, I guess we wipe the board, but then but then they get to deploy before we get to deploy. We don't want to be that behind on tempo is, is the issue for me. I think this Dirty Rat can likely pull something good. If it pulls Void Lord, we feel bad. If it pulls Enhanced, we feel bad. If it pulls Archwiz, we really feel great. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to run it. 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 Let's see what we pull. Bran. Don't, don't like that. Don't like that at all. All right, we're going to Hysteria this. And then we're going to hope that it attacked this. It did. I don't think it's worth playing this. I think it's too greedy to play this out. I think I really need to guarantee the value off of this brand. Especially after getting rid of their brand. I think it's too greedy. Could totally be wrong. But I think it's a little bit too greedy. Hopefully they just play like a Void Lord. Okay, they go with an Archwitch. Which likely just means we have to Zephyrus. Because they're gonna pull... Okay, they didn't actually pull that much. They, they didn't actually pull too much. Uh, this is just 11. But we are getting kind of close to dead is the issue. This and another kind of sucks because it just pulls another demon from their hand, which they almost certainly have, right? How do I, not, I don't want to get punked out. I mean, Corrupting Mist into Kazakis kind of sucks, but it's... Is that the play? Is that the play? Is this the play? This is maybe just the play. Yeah, we're gonna play this. I'm gonna play this. I mean, the fact that we're 15 sucks, but... We have more cards in hand. We have Bran Kazakis for two 10 pots, looking for Mass Poly. That. Holy shit, they hit my Blood Reaver, Gul'dan. Okay, um. This game just got a lot harder. <laughs> well played, well played. That makes it a lot harder, yeah. Mm -hmm. That That definitely makes it a lot harder. Uh. Because they're going to have two things. They're going to have, like, two two big reses. We're only going to have one. We really need to find something good off of this brand, Kazakus. Which, if they don't deploy with a big threat here, which it doesn't look like they, they're going to because they didn't attack him with their Void Caller, we can do that this turn. Which we're okay with, I think. I think we want a Zephyrus first, just to guarantee that it doesn't give us something stupid. Because if we play this with 1-Up, it's going to give us something stupid. <laughs> We should have played this out last turn, I didn't even think about it, but yeah, okay. Let's play this. Let's play this fishing for 10 pots for mass polymorphs because we're going to need them. Uh, definitely dealing 8 damage. Definitely uh, dealing 6. Definitely creating a 10 pot. Definitely transforming. Okay, there we go. Dealing another 8, sure. 
Blood for blood. Uh, we should have thought about this a little bit better. I should play this last turn. I actually, it wouldn't change too much. Our hand was kind of super full on that, which is kind of awkward. But this is mostly what we're looking for from this. Um, yeah. Just gonna dump this out now. Discovering healing would be pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> uh, this is something we don't want, so we're gonna take it. Heal this up in the turn. Okay. We can't draw cards anymore, but we have we have things. Ugh. We're going in for a life tap here. It's fine. It happens. Sphere of Sapiens, sure. I think that card is is very medium. It can be good if you really need to fish for specific answers. In some matchups, you do, but you also have like a hero power that draws for that. This double trading is good. That getting no value is very good. So they have to trade into my Baran. Ah, we feel pretty good about that, I think. Uh, I mean, this destroys their thing, but do we care about that? Would we rather slam, like, a big threat that demands answering? I think it, I think this is just better. I and mean, I can go like Glut Ooze Zilliax. I mean, it gets rid of that so they can't soul it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's close, but I'll, t I'll take the Glut Ooze interaction and I'll, I'll Zilliax to, to help remove everything. Right. Just like that, we're back up at 30, so maybe fretting our life total a little bit earlier was a little bit too greedy, but if they had a, like, an enhanced Dreadlord or uh, a multiple things off of Void Collar, could have ended. they could have tempoed us out pretty easily, I think. Especially if their enhanced Dreadlord was a little bit better, maybe. But... Yeah, that was about the worst possible thing to survive, which sucks, but it's life. Don't have a good 30 rat here. That's really good. Keladon didn't matter, Malganus didn't matter, at least it wasn't Zephyrus or Nazoth. Those are the big pulls. I mean, if they pulled Nazoth, we could've just, we just picked it up right, but yeah. Is this the best Keladon? I mean, it's not, because the best Keladon is Malganus, but... Do we Keladon here? Would've been really good if we had a deal late summon 8 8 here, actually. Maybe that's something we should've thought about, is we only needed one board wipe, but I just, I was really needed a way to, to wipe the board, so I felt like I needed to go with it, but if we could just go deal late summon 8 8, it'd be great. Now we just dump our Melganus, because, well, it's Melganus. And we hang out. Yeah, only getting one mass poly is gonna suck, because they stole our blood reverse, so we're already down a, a big board. We're already down, like, a big must answer board. But they've already played their Kazakus potion, which was not a mass poly, so that could end bad for them, so I don't know that I care about it. Might be Keladon, just to, to clear out the board a little bit. Could be. They almost certainly have Reno, right? Yeah. Huh. Of note, they have six cards in the deck, we have nine. That's why I was... I didn't really talk about it, but that's why it was like kind of okay to get rid of the, the Warlock hero power, because you do want to draw a lot of cards, but you have to be very careful, because... Yeah, I mean, they might just win because they got rid of our Blood Reaver, but they're three behind on Fatigue, which is big game, right? That, that matters a lot. And they're likely going to have to be the one to Reno first, which is which is also huge. Can we just... Do we just go into a Nazoth here? Let's see what it summons. It summons two cards at Defenders. One, two... Uh, three, and a Void Call. One, two, three... For an enhanced Dreadlord, the only thing left to get is a Rotten Apple Bomb. So it summons how many? Four? So, five, six, seven. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna kill this so that that doesn't summon something that matters. And we're gonna go here to get more value. Get that out of the way. 
Grizzle Wizard, sure. I mean, it gets a card out of our deck, so we're a little bit less out on fatigue, but it's a 3-2 that we were not gonna play. So... We're okay with that, for sure. And now, we already demand the first board wipe. And they already played their Zephyr, so I'm not... I mean, I think they have Nether. Or, like, Godfrey could be good here. Nether or God... No, they don't have Nether. So they, they could play Godfrey here, which could be very good at uh, answering this board. But that's only one that they have to answer, right? Defile. They have a good Defile? Oh, wow, because they pulled the two. They have a good Defile? Oh, my God. They have a good Defile. That's nuts. This is so nuts. That's amazing. That was a really good Defile on such a giant board to, to have a good Defile there. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> Yeah, that's awkward. The problem with our Lothep is really awkward to weave in here, but I think it might, might just be time. Again, if this was deal 8, summon an 8 would be a lot better, but... I mean, we know that they're gonna have a Reno, and betting on it being in the bottom 5 isn't a great bet. We definitely just go here, though. Just play this. Uh, I mean... They're gonna attack into it, but I guess make them attack it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the fact that our big... We don't have any more big boards to resurrect, and they have two... And I only have this answer as, like, a solid answer. We do have this, however, but that isn't a great option. Them passing here means that they don't have something good, which I guess in and of itself is good. Uh, this could be game-winning. It fits and is off. It's Bran. That's awkward. It's awkward, but it's not, right? It is and it isn't. I mean... All right, level with me here. Make them play Reno. They ha what are the chances? They're gonna play Reno is the is the issue. Yeah. But dealing six to everything isn't great. It's really not great. It doesn't kill Mal. It doesn't stop Malganis. Yeah, we're gonna throw this face. All right. If it's summoned an eight, it'd be great. It doesn't. If we win the game, it's epic. If we don't, I don't know. I mean, they, they have to play Reno here, I guess, is the only thing, yeah. They were going to play that always, right? So, they have a Zola for it, too. Yeah, they haven't played Zola yet. So, they could go for the Zola, which would mean that they would have double Reno and double res to go. They didn't play a Zola. That's good for me. There are no demons left in my deck. There are no demons left in my deck. Uh, Dark Skies is unlikely to be as relevant as it is right now, but Caledon is, like, is a good Caledon. Yeah, I mean, if we Dark Skies, we're not doing anything else, so I think I'd rather... Remove this. Eh. Yeah, let's do it. I'll give them the healing hero power, and I'll steal the card draw hero power. I'm not going to use it, but, you know. Until your opponent's... Yeah, with your opponent until your, until your next turn. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I always forget, like, the exact wording on this one and, and Sir Finley. Like, I know what they both do, but, like, how exactly does it work? That's the kind of the punish, because I would have rather Keladon that. But, it's, um... It kind of just is what it is. Now we have a good Dark Skies... Although Dark Sky is kind of awkward here. Yeah, the issue is we just don't really have anything else to win the game. <laughs> when you when you really think about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go into a Zephyrus here uh, to try and find some good value. But we don't really have that many things to win the game. Uh, I think Faceless Manipulator is great because it gives me something. Faceless Manipulator and Hex. Which, we don't need to Hex this, we can just Faceless Manipulator it. We'll pass. The end of my deck is nigh. We're ahead on Fatigue, but they've already killed our Nazoth board and they burned our Blood Reaver, so they both ha they have a Nazoth and a Blood Reaver. We only have one good clear. That is... fine. Godfrey is good. 
Godfrey is pretty good. Definitely need to remove that like that. 100% of the time. Um I'm just going to I'm just going to generate my one ones. 3. There isn't really I have to throw multiple damage into that. There isn't really a good way around it, huh? Unless we trade this here, but I don't think that's correct. I think it's correct to keep our 5-5 five five around. Yeah. There's an argument to keep those for Plague of Flames, but it also plays it out for Plague of Flames. It's kind of close. Now they just start slamming things. And we have to see what what is our best board wipe to answer, Godfrey or Kazakus Potion. We might just win this game because we have the the ex we we have the last Reno, and we have. Uh... I don't think we're playing this out. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just going to trade this in. They want to play this before they play the off, which is fine. It makes sense. And we're just keeping... We're holding our Reno to hopefully go go some distance for us. Our Dark Skies is going to be dead pretty soon. But that happens. They still have Doomsayer. They still have their Corrupting Mist. They still have, uh, so they have that. Let's see what it finds, because it doesn't get back, uh, what's, it doesn't get back Maliganus. Yeah, that's 15. Is there ever the file here? I don't think so. I don't think we can have one and two. And we already have a three. Is there a Godfrey, though? Um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Maybe with Bran, there's a Godfrey. I think it. Th I think this does work. I think this does work. If I have to attack first to make this work, I'm sorry for punting, but I think this works. Okay, attacking in wouldn't have changed anything. Oh, but they have this in going into fatigue. I didn't. Even, I wasn't even thinking about that as well. Jeez, that is awkward. That's very awkward. I mean, they jam their Nazoth. They're playing a Ziliax. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hold onto the Nazoth as long as they can. And why wouldn't they? Yeah. I and mean, we can play Rotten Apple Bomb, uh, which I think we have to, but yeah, it's kind of awkward. The burning of our Blood Reaver took away so many options this game, because if we jam Blood Reaver here, we'd be in such a much better position. But, okay, they're going for that. Uh, we're okay with that. They got back. They actually had a not so Well, no, they had, they had a fine one. They had a fine one. Yeah, they had a fine one. Alright, we take one. Would I rather have a 1-1 one, one or 4 more health? I'd rather have 4 more health. So we're going to attack there. And then we're going to do this. And now this really depends. The problem is they get in for 10 here. See, they're fatiguing for 5. Our next fatigue is for 2. Do we Corrupting Mist or Dark Skies? I think we have to Dark Skies, right? That just makes sense. What are the remaining cards? They haven't played out their Zola. They haven't played out their Godfrey. They haven't played out... So, they're, so they're, their deck is like, what? It's Zola, Godfrey... Their hand is Zola, Godfrey, Corrupting Mist. Zola, Godfrey, Corrupting Mist. Um, Doomsayer are the remaining four. Okay, so 
with those in mind, we don't have that much to worry about. The Corrupting Mist advise us another turn, but then they attack us for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They attack us for 7. Attacking us for 7, does that matter? 7 plus 10 puts me at 8. And then I fatigue for 4. This does we suck. Ah, we have to go with Dark Skies here, I think. It's not a complete clear, but it clears everything. This is symmetrical, so I'm just gonna jam it. Potentially lead with a Plague of Flames. They have multiple other cards are just dead. But their Godfrey is a 4-4 and they can Zola it, which can be awkward. Are they Zolaing a 1-drop? They could be Zolaing a 1-drop. They're Zolaing a 1-drop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're just trying to go wide. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not worth corrupting misting, it's not worth defiling. If we defy if we Reno Jackson Plague, we just die because we die to Godfrey. So we have to wait. They can kill this. I think I have to corrupting mist this. And then we can. If we Reno Plague, do we beat the hero? I think we beat it, right? No, there's no way. That's not how the math works. That math is too much for my brain. If we corrupting mist here, they send that and then they go two phase. Then we can wait an additional two turns to Reno. Additional turn to Reno? God, this is so crazy. I have to keep Reno Plague for Godfrey is the issue. Does corrupting misting does waiting to corrupting mist do anything for me? So I'm gonna go there. Do you still have Reno, don't you? They just messaged me if I still have Reno. Uh, let's see. Wait, where are they? I can't see behind the deck tracker. Whoops, wrong person. I'm looking for chair. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they know that I have Reno, so it's it's fine, you know. If they Godfrey here, they Doomsayer. That messes up my Reno Plague. Does that matter? I take four. The problem is I have to No, I don't have to Reno because I take five and they take me so I can I can wait to Reno Plague. Yep, so I don't have to do this. I can wait. So that Doomsayer basically doesn't do anything, and then I think I win because of the fatigue war. Uh because they have to Godfrey here to try and beat me. And then I go Reno Plague. Or do I even do I even have to plague away the Godfrey? Yeah, I go re yeah, yeah, they they know. They know. They know I have Reno. Wow, that was a grinder. Holy shit. Okay. Uh that it's almost certain that we can't lose the game here. Yeah, our opponent won. Okay, they, they salt it out, yeah. I mean, you know, it happens, you know. Be playing hands dreadlord against your aggro deck, it uh it solicits that uh that